Hello YouTube, it's Ines. I love everything AR and VR related and today I'm back with a new tutorial. This time we're looking at Lens Studio. But before we get into the tutorial, I want to say a big big thank you to everyone who commented really nice things on my last two videos. It was really nice to see that it helped people and um, that you liked what I did. It was really motivating and I'm planning on uploading more videos like this, more tutorials. So subscribe if you want to see more and hit the bell if you don't want to miss out. Um, also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and uh, send me a message. I'm always happy to hear from you guys and uh, talk about projects you're working on. It's always so inspiring to get in touch with you. So, all right, I'm talking too much. Let's get into it. And Studio. This is an AR engine that you use to make Snapchat filters. And uh, today I want to look specifically at face events. What are face events, you ask? Well, let me show you. Face events are triggers that you do with your face. For example, raise your eyebrows smile or blow a kiss if you are already familiar with face events i will show you later in the video a bonus face event that you probably haven't heard of yet so stay tuned and let's get right into it first of all let me fix this layout because i can't work like this i will always move the preview in the middle so i see what i'm doing and the inspector i'll move in between here so if i'm looking at an object like this I can see all of the settings right next to it. Oh my god, I look tired. Let me just um, put a retouch on here real quick because I can't look at this the whole time. Um, perfect. <laughs> all you have to do to use face events is you click on the plus in the objects panel, go through helper scripts and choose the behavior. This will add a little script into your scene, drag it to the top of your object panel that's very important otherwise you can get some errors and um, here you have a trigger and a response so you can go through these if you want today i only want to look at the face event so let's choose this and it gives you already some very good options for example mouth opened brows raised face found and lost that's also important and the kiss and smile started so let's do the kiss one and as a response I want to enable a scene object. You see that there's a lot of other things you can choose here but I want to keep it simple so let's choose set enabled and here we have to specify the scene object that we want to enable and uh, the glasses I put under the camera and let's just choose the hard one because that fits. So now if we blow a kiss, beautiful! <laughs> And um, yeah, you can of course also do this via script. Right click in the resources panel, add new and choose script. Let's call this face events. And um, of course we need to put it somewhere in the scene view. So let's create a new scene object, face events and drag and drop the script on here. If we open it in the editor, at first we want to get the trigger and um, I'm lazy so I already <laughs> saved some code snippets in my github and uh, I'm just going to copy paste this function out of here and if you're lazy like me you can do the same so this is down here line 70 um, just copy paste it what this does is it creates a new event. In this case, it's a tap event. We have to change this because we want the smile event, let's say. So I'm searching for smile and I choose smile started. I'm also going to rename this just to, you know, be consistent. And um, if Lens Studio recognizes a smile, it will call this function here. It doesn't exist yet, so let's create it. New function and Let's write it like this. Um, we should probably also rename this to, you know, keep it clean. All right, so let's do a quick um, debug to see if everything works. We get a little debug in here. That's perfect. So if we want, let's say, enable the heart glasses. Um, we need to reference them, so I'm gonna write and put scene object and hard glasses. To enable them, this is very easy, we just need one line of code. Uh, script hard glasses 
enabled is true. So if we save, it uh, will give us an error because we didn't define what scene object it is yet. Lens Studio doesn't know what we what we want to do. <laughs> um, so we need to drag and drop the scene object in here. So now if we smile, the glasses get activated. Perfect. So you can see this is really easy and uh, you can choose all the triggers that the behavior script also gives you. So for example, face found event is here, the kiss event, like um, browse, browse raised event is also here. But what is not here and what I was missing um, when I was uh, building my lenses sometimes is the blink. I don't know why they didn't include it. Um, I feel like it's a very intuitive trigger and uh, something that everybody does automatically, like all of the time. So let me show you how I made this lens and uh, did something with a blink. <laughs> um, I just think it adds a nice little polishing touch to any lens if you want a little more detail into it. So let's get into the bonus base event. For this event, um, I need to explain a little bit how Lens Studio catches your facial movements, like the eyebrows raised or the kiss. So with every face lens, Lens Studio tracks your face, your face and your facial movements and uh, puts a mesh on top of it, like uh, this right here. And uh, as you can see, when I'm moving or like raising my eyebrows, smiling, the mesh deforms with my face, basically. And um, if we jump into their template that comes with face, face expressions like this. So with this template, you can see that my facial movements get transferred onto another mesh. And what they also give you here is a little debug tool and it gives you a value of how high are your eyebrows, for example, on a scale from zero to one, like I can raise them and it uh, transfers to this mesh. And uh, it also has this for mouth open. This is the kiss, for example. <laughs> and uh, what we can see on the very top is that they have a eye blink left and right um, value, like I'm blinking and it uh, almost goes to one. I guess if I close my eyes, it will be almost one. And we can we can use this value to create our own blink face event. So I'm gonna jump back into my tutorial project <laughs> and uh, show you a little bit of code and how to use it. I'm back in this project with our little smile event still works, that's very good. Just ignore this error down here. <laughs> and um, let's also just comment this out for now that we can see my eyes and when I blink. So all of the information, how your face moves is stored in the face mesh. We can add a face mesh into the scene through object panel, click the plus, scroll down to face mesh and it automatically adds a head binding and a face mesh with a very ugly material. <laughs> um, I will just uh, put the face mesh UV texture on top of it, like I showed you before. So yeah, we can see what's happening. To access the facial ex expression weights that are stored in the face mesh, we need to reference it in our script. And we want to get the face mesh as an asset. So we have to write asset render mesh. And let's call it my face mesh. And now we can access the actual weight that we want um, through the control of the face mesh. So if we write script my face mesh con control and we already get some options here which is great <laughs> and we want to get the expression weight by name 
it's important to write this correctly. I hope I uh, didn't make any spelling mistakes, but let's just try it out. Inside the brackets, we need to give Lens Studio the name of the um, weight that we want to get. <laughs> of course, for the eyes, it's I blink right and I blink left. Um, I'm just gonna get the right one since I'm usually blinking with both eyes. Uh, so that should be enough. And um, so that we can actually access it, we can store it in a variable like blink weight, like this. So it gives us an error that it's undefined and that is of course because I didn't um, drag the asset in the inspector. <laughs> it's a common uh, thing that happens to me. So let's just drag it here. And if we save again, there are no errors, which is great. Let's print out the value. Blink await. And you can see it's a zero at this point. That is because the script runs um, on awake. This means when the lens resets. So for example, if I press here, now it runs. And it's not as fast to actually catch the blink wait right away. Um, so let's add a update function. Of course, because I'm lazy, I'm just uh, gonna copy paste it from my GitHub. I think I've never really typed this out. So. <laughs> but that's just what you gotta do, you know? So we have an update event that runs every frame. So be careful what to do inside of here and uh, your lens could crash. If we copy this whole thing in here, you see that we actually get values. And it's a bit hard to see, but every time I blink, the value goes to up to 0 0.7, 0 0.8. There, there is a threshold that we can work with. Let's uh, delete the, this because this is very overwhelming. <laughs> um, all right, so we can get the blink weight every frame. Now let's check if it is actually above, let's say 0 0.5 and only if it's higher than 0 0.5, we will call it a blink because before that we just have our eyes open and uh, we can adjust this value later, but let's start with this. So if um, the blink weight is bigger or equal to, let's say 0 point, let's do, let's do six. <laughs> Then we want to print a blink. Let's try it out. Ooh, there it is. And we are blinking. And as you can see, it uh, calls it a bunch of times because my eyes are closed like two or three frames, I guess. So if you only want to trigger this once, you can add a little ball. So for example, um, let's say, let's call it blinked. And it's false on default. If we blink, then blinked is true. And we will only go through this if blinked is uh, false at first. So if blinked is false, set it to true and call the blink. So let's try this. And it only gets called once. But now it doesn't trigger anymore because the bull never gets set back to false. So if we want to go that route and only trigger it once, we also need a um, another if statement to set it to false again. So if blink weight is smaller and equal to 0 0.6, um, then we will set oops, the blinked to false. So let's do this. And as you can see, this is a bit more precise. So now in here, you can do whatever you want. You can um, enable an object, cycle through objects, do a little star particle effect. This is really up to you. But um, 
yeah, this is uh, basically how you do the blink face event. I really like this one. <laughs> As you may know, I have this uh, I have this lens with the cyber punk ears and everything and these ears also move on blink which i find very cute <laughs> so there's a lot of things you can do with it just um play around and have fun i will also add this little snippet into my snippet uh, <laughs> little code snippet into my github collection you will probably find it very much down here so i will put the link to that in the description and um, I'm very uh, interested in what you're going to do with the blink trigger. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe making a little game where you have to blink as fast as you can in like two minutes or whatever and challenge your friends to be even faster. There's a lot of fun things you can do with it. So that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it and it was helpful to you. If you want to see more tutorials for Lens Studio, Spark AR or even Unity uh, VR chat, um, let me know down in the comments and uh, like this video. That would really mean a lot to me. And subscribe if you want. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter if you want. So I'm trying to be more active there as well. I have a lot of time on my hands now. So see you in the next video. Bye!